Hey guys, welcome to Roadway Coffee. I'm Arwen. And I'm Shane. Today we're going to be unboxing and reviewing the Flare Espresso Pro 2. And I have to say, I'm really excited about this one. This is a portable, compact, uh, cordless espresso maker. Yes, you can make espresso with this without the use of any electricity. All you have to have is the ability to make hot water. So let's open this up and take a look at it. All right, in the box we have a quick start guide, owner's manual, gives you all the particulars. It's a nice carry case, has a nice handle on it. So let's open it up and see how she looks. Wow, check that out. I like how this is packaged, very compact. Okay, nice. This is our stainless steel drip tray. So we'll take these out. Look at that. We'll set those to the side. This is actually one of the reasons I really was drawn to this particular espresso maker is it has a gauge on it and it will actually tell you when you're in your espresso range so you know you're pulling a really good uh, shot of espresso. So this is the top press. This is the brew head. We'll look at that in a minute. Here's the base. And this just will lock right into place. Now they do give you an optional screw pack here where you can attach this piece here into the base but as you can see it's not required you can you it, it's locked in there and that way if you just want to pull it apart to put it back the way you can um, if you want to you can assemble that for the sake of this video i'm going to go ahead and just put that screw in This actually comes in so three different like colors. That. It comes in, in black, white, and silver. Um, I chose the black version. I just kind of instinctively thought that, you know, if coffee were to spill on this, you would be less likely to notice it than on white or silver. And then you've got this really nice looking copper plated um, brew head holder here. So this is the brew head. And let me tell you, this thing is got some heft to it. It is definitely um, very thick stainless steel. Got a screen here. And then you've got your, your Porta filter. So all this is just pretty much one unit that seamlessly just slides together. There's some like silicone heat guards on it here. So when this is hot and you need to take it apart, you could you can grab it without without hurting your hand. They give you these items here. You've got a really nice tamper actually. This thing is very heavy duty, solid stainless steel again. As a matter of fact, the whole thing um, is solid metal. I mean, and it's, and it's got weight to it for sure. So that's your tamper. Um, we've also got a funnel You've got this piece that you can use to measure out your beans. You can also use this as a tamper as well. Then you could take your portafilter and brew head and set it onto your press. Then you take your gauge, slide your gauge into the piston area there. As you're pulling this lever down, this needle will come up into the espresso range if you have everything right and you are pulling a great cup of espresso. I'm really excited to try this thing out and see how it works. It looks like everything is built very well. This is the second generation of this product, so I'm sure if there was any kinks in it, they've worked those out. I know this is actually a redesigned brew head, 
and from what I can tell, it looks really, really nice, really well built. Everything feels like quality. It doesn't feel cheap. Um, there's no plastic parts anywhere that the water would touch. So I would say this is a, a really well-made product. So definitely check this out. Now that we have the Flare Espresso Pro 2 unboxed, we're gonna show you how to pull an amazing espresso shot. And we're gonna be using my very own Even Star Espresso Roast. And if you haven't ordered this yet, go to roadwaycoffee.com and get some because it's very important to use fresh roasted coffee. First, I'm gonna measure out some coffee beans. They actually recommend you using a scale, but I don't have a scale right now, so I'm just kind of going to eyeball it. We're in Colorado right now. It's very, very dry here. If we go and grind this in our mm -hmm. burr grinder, it is going to produce a lot of static, and it's going to make that coffee stick to the bottom of it, stick to our cup and everything. So we're going to show you a cool little tip we just learned this week for preventing static. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my spoon, and I'm going to dip the end of it in the water and get a couple little drops on there and I'm gonna mix that into my beans. And I'm gonna do that twice. And that will prevent static from building up in our coffee grinder and on our cup. I'm gonna have him grind the coffee and while he's doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and boil some water for our espresso. So you will need a gooseneck kettle for making espresso with this machine. I'm only using a small amount of cold water because I'm only pulling one shot of espresso. So next I'm just gonna bring the water to a boil. So it is highly recommended to heat your brew head and there's two ways you can do that. You can run hot water over it. I'm going to show you a tip I learned. So let's remove our porter filter. If your gooseneck is like this with the vents in the top, you can just put it over top like that and that will heat it. So we got some nice consistent grounds here. We are ready to give this espresso a try. Thank you. I'm just gonna give it a couple taps just to even out the grounds. I'm just gonna go ahead and t lightly tamp it. So when you're tamping, you don't have to use a ton of weight or pressure. You can just even take your fingers and evenly tamp it down till you feel it push back. Because the tamper fits so tightly in the porter filter, you simply just have to give it a twist and pull up. That way it doesn't create suction. All right guys, so the next step is taking this screen that they give you, and this goes over top of your tamped coffee. There is no top and there is no bottom to the screen. It doesn't matter how it goes in. Our brew head is now piping hot, as you can see. We're going to go ahead and place that onto our portafilter. Now we're just going to put it into our flare espresso maker. Now this is why it's so important to have a gooseneck kettle. It's because you wanted to be able to get it right down into this little hole. It's good right there. I'm just going to place a mug underneath. And I'm going to place the gauge, the pressure gauge, right over our piston hole there. Now the object is to pull this down with enough pressure where you're keeping it within the espresso range. This is my favorite part because I'm going to watch the crema come out. All right, let's do it. So you got a lot of different options what you can do with this. You could drink it straight as espresso. You could add hot water to it and make it into Americana. But today we're going to make it into a latte using the Bellman stovetop steamer. 
So you want to bring your milk to about 160. And that should be hot enough. All right, there she is. Wow, really, really good. You know, we're of course used to using uh, electric machines like yep. our Breville. So this was kind of a whole new world to us to to try it out. But I would say, how many shots have we made with this so Maybe far? Maybe 20 now. 20 shots of espresso with, the, uh, with this machine. And I'd say the first few times you're kind of dialing it in, you're kind of getting used to it and finding out what your grind needs to be set at and different things like that. But yeah. After you get it figured out, it seems to work amazing. I love it. It's awesome. Makes lots of cream on your espresso. Something that's even really cool is that somebody sent us a picture of them using this machine on an airplane and they were using our signature roast. Well, I'm not sure exactly how they did that, but maybe they had the flight attendant bring hot water so they could do it, but they did it. I'm sure if he would have shared his coffee with the pilot that he would have got moved up to first class. I concur. So if you're looking for a, a machine that you don't have to use electricity that's pulling amazing espresso, this is the way to go. The Flare Espresso Pro 2. I definitely think that we will have it on our countertop from here on out. Don't forget to get your fresh roasted Roadway coffee at roadwaycoffee.com and make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. See you guys. Bye. Bye.